Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and welcome to my best and worst SpongeBob SquarePants episode of 2015. I can't believe it, guys. 2015 has flown by. The best and worst is back because I've been starting this since 2013. Unfortunately, due to the lack of New Spongebob episodes in 2014, you know, with just two episodes that came out that year, I wasn't able to do best and worst. But now in 2015, because we actually had much more episodes, like, finally, I'm able to bring back best and worst. I think 2015 has honestly been the best year of Spongebob episodes in a very long time. The first half got to a very slow start, but then once we hit the second half of this year, well, 2015, non-stop new episodes of Spongebob have been airing. I've been loving it. This is just my own opinion of me telling you what my best episode of 2015 is and what my worst episode of 2015 is. Out of all the episodes that came out in 2015, my best Spongebob episode of 2015 is Tutor Sauce. Tutor Sauce was just a fantastic episode. It's honestly one of the best episodes of Spongebob I've seen in a very, very long time. I loved this episode. Very simple, but it was just written in all the right ways. This episode was funny. It was creative. Like I said, it was simple because it's Mr. Krabs teaching SpongeBob how to drive to pass his boating test. So I really liked that idea. And it was just very cool how Jack Pendarvis was just able to write this episode. And that is why Tutor Sauce is my best SpongeBob episode of 2015. I absolutely loved it. And now we get to my worst. And I'm going to be honest with you guys 2015? has actually not had a single bad episode, in my opinion, of course. My worst Spongebob episode of 2015 is Pull Up a Barrel. Now, like I said, you guys, it's not a bad episode, but compared to all of the other episodes of Spongebob that came out throughout the year 2015, yeah, it just does not compare at all with those episodes. Now, this is an episode that I know some, if not most of you, told me in the comments section of my review for this episode that you actually liked it. You really enjoyed the episode. That's cool if you really enjoyed this episode. I'm happy for those that found a lot of enjoyment and to pull up a barrel, but unfortunately for me, it just didn't do itself justice. It was very disappointing. I mean, you hear the concept that Mr. Krabs is going to tell the stories of his Navy days. And I was so excited. And man, oh man, this episode really did let me down. And like I said in my review, this episode did have good ideas. But it felt like they were trying to throw in all these good ideas at once. That it just makes this episode feel like a jumble mess. The pacing was just so rushed. It really was not very well paced. Instead of Mr. Krabs telling his Navy Day stories in a realistic way, he just adds like Patrick into the picture and SpongeBob into the picture because I'm pretty damn sure Patrick is not Mr. Krabs' captain. It's just one of those episodes where it has a great concept but it's executed in such an underwhelming way. Like I said, it's not a bad episode, but unfortunately, it is my worst SpongeBob episode of 2015. So you guys, that's my best and worst SpongeBob SquarePants episodes of 2015. Of course, this is where you guys come in. Comment down below, let me know what is your best and worst SpongeBob SquarePants episode of 2015. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support you give me throughout 2015 with all of my SpongeBob reviews, with your requests, and of course with the new episodes I do review. So I really had such a fun time with 2015, guys. 2015, like I said, has been the best year of SpongeBob episodes in a very long time, and I hope 2016 can be an even better year for Spongebob episodes. I really look forward to seeing what 2016 can offer, as well as me continuing to do reviews, as well as 
reviewing the request that you guys given me. So of course you guys, this is Tony aka 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.